Hey up bags, it's Jade taking you through the Amber Valley update today, showing you very briefly how to get the scorpion treat because obviously the rest of this episode is going to be my adventures to actually getting a scorpion tame. I'm basically combining two in one as I've kind of already done a guide for this which I'll mention in a minute. But either way it should have you covered in getting your own scorpion, hopefully you can see how badass it is with the rest of this video. Do leave a like if you find it useful and make sure you subscribe for more small land content, let's go. We need one frog flesh, one blood sack, one petal and one seed oil to go ahead and make the scorpion treat. I showed off how to get the scorpion treat in my previous video, so go and watch that for even more details, as it's part of the same kind of quest line as unlocking the hand cannon. You basically have to go to two different NPCs. The first one here is Granger, he's going to direct you to the west, and then you're basically going to find the queen, or uh, Sarnak as her name is, in the temple all over the way to the west. You need to bring six scorpion tails or telphons with you to gain access to her and you're going to need a whole ton of hoots as well probably around i would say 300 at least unless anything's changed it should be 75 for the scorpion treat recipe and obviously if you want the armor and stuff so once you've used that schematic for the treat you then go and make it and then you just come over to granger and he'll give you the recipe for the hand cannon and then obviously you can carry on making the treats to get yourself your own scorpion Want more details and my run through the canyons and the dangers, then go and watch that previous video, it'll be in the comment section down below. Hey Rob Bags, it's Jade, back again with another Small Lands video. Today, what are we doing? Well, I need to get ourselves a scorpion tame. And to do that, I am going to need some more frog meat. Yeah, I have run out. It's the one thing I don't have. I've got everything else we need. Uh, if you've been seeing my videos of the Amber Valley update, obviously go and check out my Let's Plays, the previous ones, where we basically unlocked how to get the hand cannon, which I've got now. Also need to get some more ammo for that, which we might do today too. And yeah, I basically want to see if we can get a scorpion tame today. So I think it'll be relatively easy. The requirements, apart from the frog flesh, like that, that is really it. That's like the hardest stuff for us to hopefully uh, get hold of. So yeah, fingers crossed, it's not gonna take too long at all. Um, I swear this guy can do like a, a special move or something, no? I thought that's what was happening. So I'm going down here, now, am I mad? Is there frogs and toads or is there just toads? Or has it always just been frogs? I can't remember. I just felt like the frogs was kind of slightly new, seeing a frog instead of it called a toad. That's what we need, we need frog flesh. So, here we go. I think that's a toad. I could be totally wrong. No, it's a frog. It's a frog. Maybe it's always been frog. I don't know why I thought it was a toad. There we go. Oh, okay. Yep. 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 That's it. Let's get attacked. Oh, super easy. Too easy now. Too easy. Boom. We need one frog flesh, one blood sack, one petal, and one seed oil to go ahead and make the scorpion treat. Okay, let's go. Let's go and see if we can get ourselves a scorpion. Woo! Now, also, along this way, there is another trader. And I think I missed this trader. I maybe showed it off briefly in like first episode that there was a trader marker. And I could not find this trader spot. I swear it wasn't here when I looked. Uh, but then, Cheeky Rocker, thank you so much, Cheeky, told me, actually, no, I'm a dumbass. I totally just missed it. So it's right down here. I'm risking it here with the turrets. But that's okay. There we go. We'll just about manage to get through. Obviously, this is a great place to come for salt penta and the rest of that stuff. Now, I another thing as well. We've got to start getting the components ready for um, our uh, scorpion armor. And come to realization that maybe it's not these guys that give the hair that we need it is the brand new um, hornets I think they're hornets anyway I think everyone's pointed out they might be something called hawk somethings bee hawks was porks who knows no there we go we did get the urticate in here oh so it's from them it is from them urticate and dart oh okay so I did kill one of these guys, but I've got nothing, nothing. Okay, while I'm here, I'm going to briefly go and get this. Because we do need to make more ammo. So obviously this is a great spot to come for Pyrite and Sulphur. Once you take care of him. It's kind of slightly disappointed my pickaxe isn't taking these in two. Because I just got... That's this is the upgraded version. So the marker's 
gone now. I don't know if it's on the map. No, he's still there. But honestly, I, I, I thought he was up there. So I ended up dropping down from up on top of the cliff trying to find this guy. And I swear I did not see this at all. I think he's the same merchant. I think it's the same merchant as the other side. So I don't think it's going to sell anything different. But hey, um, we'll, we'll clarify. We'll get it cleared up. Because it is a bit annoying having to go all the way to the other side of the map to get certain resources. So what you got for me, my friend? Yeah, it's the same guy. So there we go. So I've got all that stuff. And we can obviously transfer and get hoots from him here too. Loads of flints, loads of sulfur, loads of stuff. I've not killed any of these yellow ladybugs. They're friendly, but I was a bit worried or concerned. They might become like super deadly or something. But I guess we should do it for science. I'll tell you what we should do. We should also try my poison arrow since I made a whole bunch of them. Oh, okay. Well, it didn't stand a chance, did it? Nope. Looks like these guys are just yellow. I kind of just want to hit one just to see if it's going to attack me or not. Oh, well, okay, there we go. Who knew? Who knew? Right, scorpion time, my friend. Let's go. It's kind of nice here. I kind of like this vibe of building by the, the, the river. It seems quite peaceful. There's no lizards, there's no creatures. Got the gorgeous desert light in as well. I'm intrigued about what's going to happen during winter and stuff. What the desert's going to be like. Is it going to have rain? It surely can't have snow. Oh, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Okay. Now, they're immune against poison, surely. But, again, I'm going to try. Wow. My aim sucks. There we go. 74 damage. That weren't really it, was it? Oh, no, no. Now, I've missed out on this every time. I just cannot defend, apparently. I don't think it gives you enough time, though. It's not just me being bad at the game, people. I promise you. You have, like, reflexes of a ninja here. Oh, there we go. Tamed. I tamed it. I tamed it. I tamed it. I nearly, I nearly went and killed it. Oh, wait. Leave him alone. No, what are you doing? Just piss off birds. Leave him alone. Chill. I don't want to leave party because he'll end up just getting lost again like I lost my last boot it. Poor chicky. Alright, I'm going to mount him. We'll fly up and then we'll come back. Oh, no. There's, there's that as well. You know what? It's probably time I take on one of them too. I've not yet faced one of these off. We'll heal up. We'll heal up. No. No, no, land, land. Admittedly, it would probably be easier to do this with a flying weapon. Come then, bad boy. What are you? A tarantula hawk. There we go. Piercing damage. So arrows, as always, are probably the best thing to take these guys on. But I think it is getting some... Da yeah, my bird's finally joining in. Come on. I'm kind of sick of every creature doing poison damage in the game. Feels like it's just the, the go-to thing to have. I probably need to invest in stamina potions too. Realising I don't have a lot of stamina. Uh, that's because I pumped all my points in other stuff. Because I just figured I'd never need stamina. Not with all my tames and that. There we go. Oh yeah, 21. I think the bird's doing more damage than I am. There we go. Well done, lad. Well done. So, no. We know now we're going to have to kill a whole ton of tarantulas if we want to make the scorpion armour. And while I'm here, let's make more ammo. Mariupa! Now, am I going to be able to make it all the way across? Probably, probably not. Oh, we really need a tree. We need a tree. And then we can make a base over here. Like this one would be perfect now. Is it changing of seasons or is it just a storm? Ooh. There we go. Ooh, that is a lot of um what are they? Oh, okay, I'm guessing they're nighttime night flyers. 
So really, you can get across to the desert area pretty, um, well, I wouldn't say easy, but certainly it's doable without any flying creature, as long as you've got these wings. Uh, they probably just wasps or bees, but from this angle, they look slightly different. Oh, I got it. No, it was a bee. It was a bee. Okay. Okay, so apparently it just rains in the desert. There we go. Hey, friend. There we go. Oh, mate. Look at this. Look at this. I got a scorpion. So, pincer movements. Check. How do we do the uh, other movement? Oh, there we go. Whoa. It's got 4,000 health on it. Stinger. That's his new name. Let's go, Stinger. Let's go and see what trouble we can get into. Ooh, yeah. Now, against another scorpion? This usually doesn't go well. Because they've got much more health. But, um... I've got my gun equipped as well. Alright. Oh, did I not bring the... Oh, okay, well, he's... He's going for it already. Oh. 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 Yeah, 400 damage. That's certainly going to help a bit. Number 400. I'm still getting my ass kicked though. Oh, yeah. No, come up. No. There we go. How are you doing? Well, you didn't take any hits, so you're all good. I'm going to die. Okay, maybe if I just do a lot of attacking on the creature, that might be better. What I really want to do is get this guy to take on some of the, uh, the turret guys. That's what I really want. Let's see how powerful they are. So let's go do that. Let's go and clear out some of these turrets. Ooh, it's baking hot. But weirdly, you don't have any uh, kind of penalties with the heat. It's just like pretty basic. Yeah, you're okay. Oh, there's lots of the uh, trees there for the ironwood. Oh, mate, it moves so quick. It's such a great tame. It is a really cool tame. I can jump as well. Shut the door. Shut that door. Okay, right. I took care of that turret. I took care of that turret. Let's go and take care of this one. Let's go and see what happens. Hello. Come on, boys. Fight me. Yeah. Come out here. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Oh, it's taking barely any damage from these guys. Well, see, I need a lot of stamina. Right, what about just pincer movements? So I'm doing 42 damage. No, 39. 40, yeah, okay, a bit more, a bit more. Oh, 79 there. 50, yeah, not bad. 32. 46. Thank you. Oh, here we go. Now, there's the big boy. Here's the big boy. All right. Oh, I'm doing like 84, 95 to this guy. But yeah, it's still taking quite a while to wait on him. Oh, I don't know, you know. I think you can do it, but I'm going to get out and help my guy out. And then finish him off. Yes. Get in. Good lad. Good lad. Where's he going? Where's he going? Let's pick all that stuff up. Thank you. And all that stuff up. That's everything. Okay, what what did you do? Let's have a look. Got any levels? Ten attribute points. Right. I think health by a couple. And stamina, absolutely. And I think your damage is pretty okay. That's it, it's taken care of. You've got to stay within range. If you do take, like, draw them out too much to kind of kite them, it will keep spawning the elite. 
So you have got to stick close to it. Okay. Well, that's pretty good. Got to keep making our way down the road. Now there are a bunch of turrets in the sides there. It, it is going to take a long time to clear them all out. Like if you really want to be able to fly your bird absolutely everywhere. But there's no point because there's nothing up there. I thought there was going to be something you had to get up there. But it looks like that's going to be the next update. You will not be able to make it up until that area up there. Or, or wherever is next. Until the next update. So yeah, there's really not much point in taking out the turrets there. You should be, if you take out the turrets that are along the road here, that should be enough to stop or to get your birds, your blue tip, through the canyon. Like maybe a couple will take out on the sides. Let's do it. Let's go around this way. It's coming in, boys. Come get some. Yeah, you sp I could see you. You're thinking about it. You're thinking about coming out. I don't blame you. I wouldn't want to come out here. Not with a scorpion. There we go. No? No? These guys just aren't coming out. Come on, my guy. Are they stuck inside? I can see the dude like literally right there. There we go. Well, we'll just keep doing this then. Oh, I feel bad. Almost. Almost feel bad. I don't really feel bad. They do kind of gain their health quite a bit in here. So it's, it can be hard to kill them. Right. I really want this elite to come out now. Nope. It's kind of bugged. No, okay. That's it. That's it. I must have killed the elite or, or whatever. Because the turret is down. That's the secret. The turret's got to be down. Okay, we'll, we'll continue. That's pretty much it. These two guard kind of the entrance. As I said, there's a couple on the left and one on the right. But just getting in here is pretty good enough. You should be able to get quite far. Oh, we should take out another one. Yeah, come on. Because we need tons of the Scorpion uh, chitin if we want to go ahead and make uh, new armors and stuff. Hi, guy. Ooh, okay. Oh, no, I just shot my own. Go on, get him. Get him. There we go. Well done, lad. Well done. Oh, it's night time. You know what? Maybe I should go back. The only problem is, yeah, how'd you get your tame over here? That is a long ass way to bring him. So you kind of got to build a little base, maybe. Yeah, you want like a shack or something. So I might end up doing that in a second. It's a good enemy for this area. And of course, you can get him back to your base quick just by going in and out of the menus. But then. How are you ever going to get him? I know you just used the whistle, right? The whistle teleport him anywhere. Okay, last one. We'll take on the beetle. Come on, my guy. Come feel the sting on my tail. I hate doing nighttime fights. It's, it's not the best idea. There we go. Oh, there we go. Hit a couple hits there. Poison him with almost anything. Oh, mate. This is good. This is good. What is he resistant to? He is resistant to pierce damage, but it's still doing a pretty good goddamn job. Look at that. Oh, mate. It's just getting wrecked. I mean, my scorpion's taking a few hits here. Be a bit more, yeah. Got aim 110 health there. Took from him. Come on, guy. Is he running? Is he running away again? Doing like 67. 
There we go. Oh no, that's the damage it's doing to me. Oh. Oh, it's pretty tough actually. Thinking about like how much damage I'm, I'm taking here. Got to be a bit more precise with the attacks. Oh. Come on. Oh, just about. Just about. Yeah, I think I better let him eat up. Let's get his health back there. And I might just drop anything I've got. There we go. That is how to get a scorpion, people. How great it is. Next question is how good it is against maybe helping out with a snake. 